um, estate provisions. It is possible in the prenuptial agreement to address not only what would happen in the event of a divorce, but also in the event of death. Um, under the Uniform Probate Code, which most states, I believe, have adopted, there is something called a spousal right of election. And that means that even if your spouse were to die with a will that says you get nothing, you have a minimum amount of your spouse's estate that you will receive. So in New York, it's 33%. Um, that number, I think, varies depending on, on where you are. But there is, in, in most states, as far as I'm aware, an elective share of some amount. You can waive that elective share. Uh, you can also draft in your prenuptial agreement uh, the complete uh, estate plan for the two of you in terms of what you would provide each other in the event of your deaths. If you choose to go down that route, you want to make sure as a matrimonial practitioner that you involve a trust and estates practitioner to make sure that you have all the language that's necessary, both on a federal level and also from a local jurisdictional level, uh, to ensure that those provisions also will be enforceable. Um, the benefit to doing estate provisions in a prenuptial agreement is that it is in fact an agreement and your, the, the estate of both parties is bound by that agreement, assuming that language is in the agreement, which it would be if you use a trust and estates council. That is different from just a will because if you go together to a trust and estates attorney and you both do your wills together, um, your spouse can always go back after you leave and say, just kidding, I want to change that and do my own thing. And there's nothing that says that that second will um, should be unenforceable. So a lot of people feel more comfortable if they're able to secure those rights in a prenup as opposed to just through estate planning together with trust and estate counsel.